drumstick ice cream cone that has been sitting out for 22 hours now. All right, so this can happen due to stabilizers. So stabilizers help to thicken water. You use stabilizers in gravies, sauces, flour can be used as a stabilizer, starches can be used as a stabilizer. Other stabilizers and other food products that you might be familiar with are things like gelatin and pectin in jams. The main reason why stabilizers would be used in ice cream is to reduce that ice crystal size and reduce the air bubble size, which makes the ice cream smoother and creamier. In addition, stabilizers help to slow down melting. So due to things like temperature fluctuations in your freezer, ice crystals can grow as they they melt and refreeze as shown here. Large crystals make a grainier texture and so that's why you want to reduce that ice crystal growth. The smaller bubbles that stabilizers help to produce along with the water binding properties help the ice cream to melt slower. This is especially important in ice cream cones that are going to be subject to transportation, temperature fluctuations in the freezer to help hold that shape. So not only does it melt slower, but it will just melt differently too, due to the high solids and the stabilizers that bind up the water. So it will retain its shape a little bit more and not just melt into a puddle. So things like eggs, uh, starches, and gums can be used as stabilizers in ice cream. Gums like guar gum, locust bean gum are some of the ones that you'll see in ice cream are typically used at rates of 0.1 to 0.3 percent. You don't need much for the benefits that stabilizers bring to ice cream. If you make homemade ice cream, you can play around with adding a little bit of guar gum to your base mix and see how it changes the creaminess and the mouthfeel of your ice cream. 